Imagine a creature so massive it could stare down a giraffe, yet able to soar through the skies with the grace of a bird. Welcome to the incredible world of the Quetzalcoatlus, a prehistoric titan that dominated the skies during the late Cretaceous period. This awe-inspiring creature was no ordinary bird but a pterosaur, a type of flying reptile. Its size, comparable to a small aircraft, made it the largest flying animal in the history of our planet. Imagine the sight of a creature with a wingspan stretching over 30 feet, its long, slender neck craning to survey the land below. Picture the majesty of this giant taking flight, its enormous wings beating against the prehistoric sky. It's an image that takes us back, back to a time when Earth was a vastly different place, populated by creatures of epic proportions. The Quetzalcoatlus, a creature of such epic proportions that it boggles the mind. Our story begins not in the ancient past but in the year 1971, in the sun-baked terrain of Texas. A young Douglas Lawson, a geology graduate student from the University of Texas, embarked on a field trip that would change the course of paleontology. A keen observer, Lawson noticed something unusual protruding from the rocky outcrop. It was a bone, but not just any bone. It was an enormous fossilized wing bone unlike anything he had ever seen. The scale of it was beyond any known bird or bat, and it was clear this was not a creature of our time. With curiosity peaked and excitement mounting, Lawson and his team began a meticulous excavation, brushing away the centuries layer by layer. As they dug deeper into the earth, they discovered more than they had bargained for. The isolated wing bone was just the tip of the iceberg. The earth, like a time capsule, began to reveal more of this prehistoric giant. What they unearthed, was not a complete skeleton, but a scattered collection of fossils. Each one was a jigsaw piece to an ancient puzzle. A testament to a creature that once ruled the skies. These fragments of the past were carefully extracted, documented and transported back to the university for further study. Back at the lab, Lawson and his team began the painstaking process of piecing together the fossils. Bit by bit, the creature began to take shape, and it was clear that this was no ordinary find. This was a pterosaur, a flying reptile from the late Cretaceous period, but it was much larger than any previously discovered. After years of careful research and reconstruction, the creature was given a name, Quetzalcoatlus, after the Aztec feathered serpent god, Quetzalcoatl. What started as a single, seemingly insignificant bone, had led to the discovery of the largest flying creature in the history of our planet. Thus, the Quetzalcoatlus, a creature from the late Cretaceous period, was introduced to the modern world, a true testament to the wonders that lie beneath our feet, waiting to be discovered. The name Quetzalcoatlus, as grand as the creature itself, has a fascinating origin. This colossal flying reptile was named after the Mesoamerican deity, Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl, a god deeply revered by the ancient civilizations of Mexico, was often portrayed as a feathered serpent. This portrayal perfectly encapsulates the essence of Quetzalcoatlus, which, with its reptilian nature and majestic wings, soared through the skies like a divine entity. The name is a testament to the awe-inspiring presence of the creature, bringing to mind images of a colossal serpent adorned with vibrant plumage, ruling the skies with a breathtaking grandeur. It's a name that not only evokes the physical appearance of Quetzalcoatlus, but also its spiritual significance in the tapestry of Earth's history. It's a creature that seems to exist at the intersection of reality and mythology, a tangible manifestation of the divine, Quetzalcoatlus, a fitting tribute to a god of wind and learning. Now let's delve into the truly astonishing anatomy of this magnificent creature. The Quetzalcoatlus, a creature that lived some 70 million years ago, was a true marvel of the natural world. The most striking feature of this pterosaur was undoubtedly its enormous wingspan. Stretching up to 36 feet, it was roughly the same as a small plane. This colossal wingspan allowed the Quetzalcoatlus to soar through the skies, dominating the aerial landscape of the late Cretaceous period. But how could such a large creature fly? The answer lies in the Quetzalcoatlus's unique skeletal structure. Despite its size, the Quetzalcoatlus was surprisingly lightweight, weighing in at around 500 pounds. This was due to its bones, which were hollow and air-filled, similar to the bones of modern birds. Then we have the Quetzalcoatlus's long neck, which was as unique as it was functional. This neck, which could reach up to 10 feet in length, was not just for show. It allowed the Quetzalcoatlus to reach down and snag prey from both land and water, making it a versatile predator. Speaking of predation, 
Let's talk about the Quetzalcoatlus's beak-like mouth. Unlike many of its dinosaur contemporaries, the Quetzalcoatlus did not have teeth. Instead, it had a sharp pointed beak, similar to a modern stork. This beak was perfect for catching and consuming small animals, which made up the bulk of the Quetzalcoatlus's diet. And where did this incredible creature live? The Quetzalcoatlus roamed the skies of what is now North America, specifically in the region that is modern-day Texas. Its habitat was a diverse and vibrant ecosystem, teeming with a wide variety of other dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures. Despite the competition, the Quetzalcoatlus was a successful species, likely due to its ability to fly and its unique hunting methods. Living among other dinosaurs, the Quetzalcoatlus was a creature of the skies, a testament to the adaptability and resilience of life during the Mesozoic era. It was a creature that defied our traditional understanding of size and flight, a creature that pushed the boundaries of what was thought to be possible in the natural world. In conclusion, the Quetzalcoatlus was not just another dinosaur, it was a marvel of natural engineering, a creature perfectly adapted to its environment and time. From its enormous wingspan to its lightweight bones, from its long neck to its beak-like mouth, every aspect of the Quetzalcoatlus's anatomy was a testament to nature's limitless imagination. The Quetzalcoatlus, a testament to nature's limitless imagination. The Quetzalcoatlus may have vanished from the face of the earth, but its legacy endures. In the world of paleontology, the Quetzalcoatlus has become a symbol of grandeur and mystery. Its astonishing size and unique anatomy have sparked countless debates and researches, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of prehistoric life. The Quetzalcoatlus has indeed left an indelible mark in the field of paleontology, perpetually challenging the way we perceive the limits of biological possibility. Beyond the scientific realm, the Quetzalcoatlus has also soared into the domain of popular culture. Its image, that of a gigantic majestic creature, has been imprinted in books, films and video games, instilling awe and wonder in the minds of millions. The Quetzalcoatlus has become a cultural icon of the prehistoric world, a testament to the Earth's vibrant and diverse past. In the realms of literature and art, the Quetzalcoatlus often symbolizes power and freedom, its enormous wings embodying the boundless possibilities of the skies. Its image has inspired countless artists, writers and filmmakers, and it continues to captivate the imagination of children and adults alike. Furthermore, the Quetzalcoatlus has played a significant role in shaping our view of the Cretaceous period. Its existence has provided us with crucial insights into the ecosystem of that era, helping us piece together the intricate puzzle of Earth's history. The Quetzalcoatlus serves as a tangible link to our planet's distant past, a window into a world long gone, yet still echoing through the ages. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of the Quetzalcoatlus is its ability to inspire curiosity and fascination. Its story encourages us to question, to explore and to marvel at the wonders of our world, both past and present. The Quetzalcoatlus, with its awe-inspiring size and unique presence, is a powerful reminder of the planet's dynamic history and the incredible diversity of life it has nurtured. The Quetzalcoatlus, a creature from our distant past that continues to captivate our present. In the span of a short video we've journeyed millions of years into the past, to meet a creature that truly defies belief. We've uncovered the story of the Quetzalcoatlus, a creature of gargantuan proportions, discovered in the scorched sands of Texas. We've delved into the significance of its name, a tribute to the feathered serpent god of ancient Mesoamerica, Quetzalcoatl. We've marveled at its astonishing anatomy, a wingspan of around 40 feet, a height comparable to a modern giraffe, and a beak that could spear prey with deadly precision. We've considered the legacy of this magnificent beast, a legacy preserved in stone and in the minds of those who continue to study it. This journey into the past has shown us that our Earth has been home to an array of creatures far beyond our wildest dreams. Quetzalcoatlus, the largest flying animal in Earth's history, a testament to the incredible diversity of life that our planet has nurtured over the eons.